Hi, this is Michael Kipp and welcome to the next tutorial. Here I have opened uh, a fresh annotation uh, which we saw in tutorial 1 and I want to show you how to not only create elements but how to modify them if you you know if you have uh, um, done some mistakes uh, and I also want to show you some more shortcuts for instance if you hit plus you know you zoom in on the annotation board you can see the timeline getting wider if you hit minus the plus and minus keys uh, you know give you the zoom levels and so as I told you in tutorial one with either a double click double click or with hitting the one key or F1 on a Windows PC you position the green line and this is the start of your new element if you want to create an element you can either use the context menu and choose create or you can just hit the key number two or the F2 key on the PC if you hit three or F3 you get the creation menu and you can add some freeform comment here you can also collapse the comment if you don't want to see that and so now you have um, the last element has some content and the other elements are empty and here if you want to edit it you can always go to edit and then the same dialog comes up here and you can add some content or you can hit return or enter also brings brings up the edit uh, dialogue and uh, again in this window you see the full contents of your elements and uh, but if you if you want to not see the comment because this can be rather big for complex elements you can go to view in the main menu and just uncheck the comments box and then this will vanish okay we just leave it on also what you see here on the annotation board so the actual labels on the boxes you may want to see this directly in the video and you can do this as subtitles you know on the v view menu show subtitles if you check that then whatever is on the label will actually appear here on the video screen okay this also can be a cool feature if you need it so now you have added some elements and let's say you know this first element has become a little too long you actually want to cut it here so unfortunately you cannot just drag the end of the element but you have to go into the context menu right click and then go to cut right and anvil uh, is now undecided because actually maybe you wanted to cut it here and to this to become the new start point but maybe you also wanted to have this thing here and want to cut here and then this would be the new end point and so you have to decide start is this a start point and this is what we wanted and then and we'll cut it right here right and you can do maybe you want you know you made it a bit, a bit too long then you can cut it here and this should then become the new end point and okay and maybe you want to cut this actually here and make this a new start point and you see and the other way around right maybe you know that now this is too short you want to make it a little bit longer you can extend the element and actually if you extend it here and will ask no further questions but because you know you could only have meant this element but what if you here right and you say extend whoops you say extend here it's always the red line that counts you know in case of doubt uh, so Anvil is now puzzled you know do you mean this element should be extended or that element so left or right and so let's say I wanted to extend the right element and then I hit right and you see it extends then to the red line okay so this is how to modify existing elements and as you saw in, in tutorial 2 uh, you also have um, you have tracks you know which have some logical relationship to another track so this is a phase and it consists actually of these this element consists of these three elements and the nice thing about this logical relationship is that if I modify this element you know by cutting it here okay making it a little bit shorter and so this is a new start point then look at the element underneath it will automatically adapt right so if I cut this one here and make this a new endpoint here you see that the lower element has automatically readjusted because it logically depends on the 
uh, start of the beginning element and the end of the ending element, whereas the element in between actually doesn't really matter to uh, this element. Okay, so this is it for uh, for oh no one one more thing um, so you may wonder you know you have these boxes and these correspond to tracks but you also have this box here it's called gesture and this is actually something like a folder which contains those two tracks if you double click it you collapse the two tracks and you can imagine you know you're having five or ten tracks in this group and so this is quite convenient for making um, your orientation board a little bit less cluttered so double click you expand it double click you collapse it and by the way you know talking about c collapsing tracks you can also if you're here in this part of the board you can right click and then you can do a lot of interesting stuff to the tracks for instance you can switch off a track so it just vanishes and maybe you want to focus you know you have 10 tracks and you want to focus off only two of them you can switch off um, you know, a couple of those and then focus on this one track. And then if you want to find them again, you just switch all of them on again. Okay? Also, you can change the size of a track. Okay? You can say, okay, make it twice as big. You know? So change size quickly. Factor two, you know, have to, ex you know, uh, make the annotation board a little bit bigger. And then, so this is twice as big. You know, this plays a role if you show curves, for instance, you know. And of course, you can put it back to normal size here. See you in the next video.